Hi, I'm Jim McCarthy from drumclinic.com and this is blog number two, uh, the blog for December in 2007. And the subject for discussion today is which part of what finger should create the fulcrum? The fulcrum, of course, being where we actually hold the stick and let the stick pivot. So how do we create that with our hand? We talked uh, in our last blog last month about the German versus the French grip. Well, I'm going to assume that we're now, we've gone ahead and developed the German grip with the hand rotated, so the thumb is on the side of the stick. Obviously, the thumb is in that spot on the side of the stick, but where should we create the other half of the fulcrum? Which part of these, the hand over here with these fingers? Should we do it on this first finger, on the second finger, and if so, whereabouts along the finger? So this is the really important question. Well, I'm going to first of all just answer this question for you, okay, the way I think it should be, and for a lot of reasons, and I'm going to tell you the reasons afterwards. I think that we should have the fulcrum between the thumb, obviously, and this part of the index finger right there, okay, behind the middle knuckle and on the side of the first finger there. So it's going to look like that. I'll hold that up there so you can see you. Turn that around, okay? So that's where we want, want to hold the stick. That's where we should create the fulcrum. And as you can see, that works very, very effectively. You can play a lot of stuff. In fact, I can just bounce the stick in the fulcrum holding it there, and it's not a problem. It's a very effective fulcrum. Okay, so let's look at the reasons why it should be like that. First of all, um, why that finger? Why not this finger or one of the other fingers? Well, of course, if I'm holding the stick on the second finger like that, that means this finger is on the wrong side of the stick to drive it. Okay, so I've only now got two fingers or, or so underneath the stick to actually drive the stick. If I hold the stick on this finger, I've got more fingers to control the rebound and drive the stick. So to me, it seems really obvious that um, we want to get the, uh, the grip on the side of that first finger. Now, the same reason is really about where along the stick we should, uh, along the finger we should have it. A lot of people hold the stick more on the tip of the finger like that. Now, if we hold the stick on the uh, the stick on the tip of the finger, there's there's two problems with that. First of all, we're really wasting that first finger because once we're holding the stick with the tip of the finger, we can't do anything with it. We're just gripping the stick, and we've only got these other fingers here to drive the stick. So not only by having the stick behind that middle knuckle, not on the tip of the finger, but behind the knuckle. By having it there, we can, uh, we can bend with that knuckle and we've got one other finger, the first finger, to drive on the stick. And that's not only important because it's one uh, more finger, but that's actually a really important finger. It's the most sensitive finger. It's the finger that most people have the most skill with. If you don't believe me, just think for a minute about... Um, about what finger you do a lot of tasks with. You're probably at a computer at the moment, what's your main mouse finger? If you dial a telephone, what's, uh, well these days we probably do it with our thumbs, don't we, on the mobile, but if you're doing it in the old fashioned phone, it would be with that first finger. If you test the temperature of some water, it's usually gonna be with the first finger because it's a really sensitive finger and it's got a lot of control. So we want that under the stick, driving the stick and controlling the stick. We don't wanna waste it just by gripping the stick with it. Okay, so that's number, uh, one really important reason why we have the fulcrum in that spot. Number two really important reason um, is because it's a really natural position. Okay, If you flop your hand on the drum or on the pad and just have all the fingers straight and then move the thumb in, you'll see the tip of the thumb meets that first finger, the index finger, actually behind or about level with that middle knuckle. It's, if you just let your hand flop, you'll see that by putting the, the stick on the tip of the thumb, then it's naturally just behind that middle knuckle. To do this and have it on the tip of the finger, I'm actually pulling my fingers back. And you can see the muscles on the top of my forearm actually tense up when I do that. So by holding the, the stick on the tip of the finger, uh, for that reason and a, and a few others to do with the leverage of the first finger, I'm creating tension in my forearm. And any tension is going to be really bad to play quickly with. So we want to get rid of it as much as we can. So the best spot to have that uh, fulcrum is on the side of the index finger behind the middle knuckle. All right, it's really important to have it there. Um, now, we often find that uh, a lot of drummers, in particular, have this idea that they should actually let go of the stick at the point of contact. So the, the stick is kind of floating in the back of the hand, and, and when they hit the drum, they sort of let go of the stick like this. 
So they're really using, using no fulcrum at all. And with the German grip, this is not uncommon because uh, we can use the wrist, and that's the whole point of the German grip. People often develop their technique to the point where they're tending to use their wrists for everything, and they don't really use the fulcrum for, for fast fingers at all. It's all wrist, 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 wrist. Okay, well that's a bit wasteful because we're getting rid of one of the main tools for speed there. Even um, putting that aside for a minute, why would we want to let go of the stick as it contacts the drum? Well, the way a lot of people have explained it to me in the past is they reckon it changes the sound. The idea here is that by letting go of the stick at the point of contact, what we're hearing is not just the sound of the drum vibrating, but also the sound of the stick vibrating. And it is true that the stick vibrates if you let it go. However, in a realistic playing situation, let's be honest, it really makes very little difference in sound. I've tried it for myself, uh, really com compared the sound of me playing a drum, holding onto the stick and letting it rebound through the fulcrum, and also letting it go so that there's no vibration, at, uh, so that there's no vibration around the fulcrum at all. I can't hear any difference in sound. I've also heard uh, other people demonstrate it to me when they can swear black and blue that they can hear it. Uh, and I really can't hear any difference. Or if I can, it's such a small difference that it's really not worth sacrificing all of that other technical ability that you're going to do by doing that. Really what tends to happen, I think, in the majority of cases is that uh, when people think they're getting a, a big difference in sound, it's because uh, when they're not letting go of the stick, they're choking the sound of the drum. And they're doing this because their fulcrum is not sufficiently developed to actually allow proper rebound. So if they're... Uh, not letting go of the stick, they're actually pushing the stick into the drum and we're getting that buzz sound. But if we're developed, if we've developed the fulcrum properly, the stick should be allowed to rebound nicely and it's not choking the sound of the drum. The vibration of the stick really is pretty immaterial. It's a very soft sort of sound compared to the sound we're going to get out of the drum. Okay? Uh, and of course, if we do let go of the stick, what we're doing is we're basically wasting all the rebound energy that comes from the drum. And let's face it, that rebound energy is the key to really playing fast uh, on any drum at all. So where should we create the fulcrum? Between the thumb and the side of the index finger behind the middle knuckle. If you want to find out more about creating a fulcrum and some tricks to minimize tension in the fulcrum, you might want to try reading my book Stick Technique. And that's available at sticktechnique.com.